Hi everyone, today I'm reviewing the NAND Robot LS7 which is a 50 mile per hour and $3000 electric scooter. Yes, you heard that right. Let's see what this beast is capable of. The LS7 has an enormous amount of power. The top speed is beyond imaginable. The dual motors are super torquey and you can climb any hill imaginable with them. The LS7 is a well built scooter and it definitely deserves one of the top places in its price segment. I couldn't find a single LS7 review on YouTube or anywhere online so this must be the first full review of this amazing scooter. I'm making this video after getting countless requests to review my LS7 in the NAND Robot Scooter Club on Facebook and under my D4 Plus review. Join our group on Facebook to get answers to all your questions about NAND Robot Scooters. We will be glad to see you there. You'll find the link in the description below. Back to the review now. NANDROBOT.COM is where I got it from and it took about 2 weeks to get delivered. The scooter comes in a huge box. All I had to do is to attach the handlebar, the front fender, check all the bolts and screws and after 10 minutes I was ready for my test drive. My first impression was wow, this thing is huge and heavy. At this point I didn't realize what I just received. I was pretty happy with my D4 but the LS7 is just out of this world. The handlebar is foldable, the handles are not. The scooter is huge, so you can literally forget about the portability. The D4 and D5 are the clear winners in this department. The handlebar locking ring is pretty solid. It has a little flex to it, but it's still a pretty strong system. The first impression is really good. It looks like a very high quality scooter. Solid frame, great suspension. However, let's go further with the review to find more about the LS7. I'll start with the things you enjoy the most about the NAND robot scooters, speed, acceleration and power. And honestly the LS7 will overwhelm your expectations. <laughs> The amount of power will blow your mind. Don't forget, it's very dangerous. I wouldn't recommend the LS7 to anyone who has less than a year of experience at riding electric scooters. If you forget you have the turbo on, the scooter will throw you off the deck. I've had a couple of situations like this, so it's better to think twice before you press the throttle. In other words, you have to really feel and control the scooter. The acceleration is just insane. I would say it's as fast as a regular car. Here's a little video. Let's go over the controls we have here. It has several power modes and the mode 1 has actually enough power and speed for the daily commute. You can switch between the turbo and eco, single or dual drive. The P setting menu is slightly different though. If you have the mode 3 on, turbo and dual drive, you'll get up to 52 miles per hour. This is the number you can find on the official side. I have to be honest and say that I didn't make it higher than 48 miles per hour. Not because the LS7 couldn't do it, rather because I couldn't. In case you're wondering if the speedometer is really accurate here, it is. I GPS verified it and it's true 48 miles that I hit. 
On a vehicle of this size, it feels like you're going much faster. The wind resistance becomes pretty crazy by the way. Let's talk about the size of the scooter a little bit. As you might have noticed, the LS7 is huge and heavy. It's much bigger than the D4. The LS7 is around 90 pounds or 40 kilograms. It won't fit in the trunk of a medium sized car. And also you don't want to carry the scooter up or downstairs. You'll simply hurt her back. The hydraulic brakes on the LS7 are perfect. They're easily adjustable as well. The scooter also has the EPS system. I'm not a big fan of that though. The brakes are very smooth and sharp, no complaints whatsoever. The LS7 has a very high capacity battery. It seems like the battery is the most expensive part of the scooter. You can get the LS7 with a smaller battery for 2200. The LS7 has two charging ports, in case you want to double your charge speed with the second charger. With one charger, it takes around 10 hours to get the full charge. I have the biggest LG battery here and I managed to get 50 miles on a single charge. If you are patient enough to drive the scooter on eco mode for long periods of time, I'm sure you can get even more. The lights on the LS7 are really good. It has two huge LED headlights, these are extremely bright. Another pair of small headlights down here. Turn lights in the back, plus the brake lights. This is a full suspension scooter. It has two replaceable rubber cartridges in the front and in the back. The performance of this suspension is really impressive. It's not too soft, it makes riding the scooter a breeze. The rear suspension developed a little rattling sounds after 200 miles, but the problem was easily solved by applying some machine oil. It comes with 11 inch, 3.5 inch wide off-road tires. The thicker tires definitely provide some extra comfort. Here we have one of the motors. This will give you tons of power, especially hill climbing power. About 3600 watts from these two brushless motors. I was able to climb very steep grades. Pretty much anything you're gonna encounter with this, and it's actually gonna get acceleration. When you have the scooter in the full power mode, turbo and dual wheels on, it definitely screams and has tons of power and torque. Very happy with that. Let's talk about what I don't like about the LS7. If you're looking for a powerful scooter for daily use, I'd personally stick with the D4 or D5. The chances are you will not need so much power. I enjoy my LS7 a lot, but to be honest I use my D4 on a daily basis. It's fast and powerful enough and it's more convenient to carry it around in store. For $3000 I was hoping the scooter would be well built, and it definitely is. The scooter is made like a tank. The only downside to this kind of scooter though is that it's extremely heavy. I really wouldn't want to carry it at all. And the last one, the scooter is pretty expensive. If you have money and you want something very powerful and fast, the LS7 is for you. Riding a scooter will definitely put a smile on your face. But in most cases the D4 would do the job pretty well and it's much cheaper than the LS7. And we all know the D4 Plus is a very cool scooter, no doubt about it. In my opinion the D4 Plus is a much better investment since it's more practical and it's a lot cheaper. I think I've covered pretty much everything about the LS7 and if I've missed something leave your question in the comment section below. That's it for today, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. See you in my next videos.